North Little Rock police are bringing a 20 year old cold case back in front of the public, hoping to finally solve it. Thanks for joining us tonight at five. I'm Rolly Hoyt. Faith has the night off. THV 11's Rebecca Brown joins us here in studio tonight after meeting with investigators to learn what they're doing to get more people to come forward. Rebecca. Rolly Chester Robertson Sr. was killed in April of 2004. 20 years later and the police and his family are offering a $9,000 reward for any information that leads to an arrest. It was a very hard pill to swallow. Um, we have uh, gone through a lot of grief. Every time the Robertson family tries to heal and move on with their lives, they find themselves being pulled back down by one question. Who killed Chester Robertson Sr.? My father was working at a kind of a discount car lot in the McAlmont area. Uh, and uh, somebody came in and shot and killed him. Chester Robertson Jr. was 25 years old when he found out what happened to his father. For the last two decades, he's wondered why someone would want to hurt his dad. I was a good husband. He was a good dad. Uh, he was a good brother. Uh, he was a good uncle. He was very, very funny. Uh, he was really good to a lot of different people. This week, the Robertson family joined North Little Rock police to once again ask for help finding his killer. Incredible disbelief. Like, you just could never imagine something like that happening to you. According to police, officers were called to an AA auto sales on Highway 161 on April 16, 2004. They found Robertson Sr. laying on the ground suffering from a gunshot wound. Now investigators like Charles Peckett are hoping fresh eyes will lead to new discoveries. DNA has come into play now and it's been in for quite a few years now, so that helps. But, you know, I don't know if this case has any DNA on it. Peckett says there are no suspects at the time, but several persons of interest. They are now asking anyone with information that could help to come forward. Because it's been 20 years and it's time for closure. And uh, we're going to try to give that to them. The North Little Rock Police Department says no information is too small in this case. If you know anything, you're asked to reach out and you can find that contact in this story on THV11.com.